Before the war, this was a village. There were homes and businesses. People lived and prospered. Now, it's a cursed place. Over one and a half million people died here, most of them Jews. It's a place no one would wish to own or inherit. But since the end of communism in Poland, people are coming back to reclaim land their families owned before the war. And one of them believes she has documents which could prove that part of this death camp was built on Jewish land, her family's land. Sipora Frank was 12 when she and her parents came to Israel from Poland after the war. She grew up and raised her own family here. And like her sons and grandchildren, she's Israeli now. But there's a mystery in Sipora's past. She's inherited papers that suggest she could have a claim to Auschwitz. And she's decided to return to Poland in search of the truth. Sipora and her parents and brother survived the war by escaping to Russia in 1939. The rest of the family perished in the Holocaust. Once in Israel, they never spoke of their past. But just before she died, Sipora's mother told her that when she returned to Poland after the war, she'd reclaim the family land. And part of that legacy was Auschwitz. Now, these are the documents that were left to me by my parents that show the property in Poland. They are all in Polish. They are very old. The documents that Sipora's mother had left her related to her wealthy grandfather's properties, including a tar paper factory in Brzezinka, better known as Birkenau. This map shows the property in Zezinka, in Birkenau. My grandfather, Joseph Meltzer, he built there the factory for uh, tiles made of tar, and it was a huge factory, and they used uh, a lot of land, and they had a private railroad go uh, going in, and they had ovens, special ovens, that they boiled the tar. But my mother never told me about it. She never told me that she has this property. All her life, Sipora's mother kept her inheritance secret. She was consumed by guilt, because she believed the land she owned had been part of the Auschwitz-Birkenau concentration camp, where her own family had been killed. My mother's life was affected all the time by, by this secret, by this knowledge, because this concentration camp, it's the death camp, it's the most atrocious camp that was ever built and it was built on her land she felt guilt about it and she didn't want me to go and visit it and she didn't want me to know about it but Sipora wants to know she is returning to Poland to reclaim the property and confront the past I want to know the truth I want to know if it does belong to me or it doesn't I want to know the truth how did they confiscate it how did they build it what did they do I want to know the truth mm. I want to know it's mine. Before the war, Sipora's family lived near Krakow. There was a large Jewish population here. Most of the shops and over a third of all buildings and industries were owned by Jews. There was widespread anti-Semitism. When the Germans invaded Poland in 1939, all Jewish property was taken or abandoned as the Jews fled or were imprisoned and killed. Sipora's grandfather had been a wealthy man. As well as the factory in Birkenau, 
he possessed a large house and land in neighboring towns. During the 42 years of communism, it was almost impossible to recover property lost in the war. Now it's become easier, but few claimants possess as much proof of ownership as Zipora. She's anxious to know what's in the documents, and particularly if she really does own part of Auschwitz. I feel nervous about going to, the, to this lawyer because I don't, I don't know how how can I talk to him. You know, it's 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 like it's to talk about day to day on day to day basis about proper things, about things that are to, to you know to establish his documents. It's going to the government places. It's asking for compensation, and it go all. It's all uh, relates to, to to people alive and to their death. And, I can't think about how it will be. Dzień dobry. Marcin Jagielski. Proszę bardzo. Dzień dobry. Jestem Cypora Frank. Zapraszam. Dziękuję bardzo. Moja mamusia, co się nazywała Rywka Jakub, z domu była Mercer i to wszystko jest jej zostało. Tyle, co pani zostało dokumentów tylko? Tak, wszystko my byli w Rosji. Jak myśmy wrócili, to moi rodzice ułożyli te wszystkie, moje polskie nie jest tak dobre, ułożyli te wszystkie ja dokumenty, to wszystkie dokumenty mhm. i na mojej mamusie imię. Ja myślę tak. I to nie jest. To możliwe. pani dostała. Tak. To... Jak moi rodzice umarli, to ona to tak dostała. Józef Melzer. To, to jest, jest mój dziadek. Dziadek pani, tak? tak? Był papy dachowej i tak. płyt izolacyjnych. Ta tak, fabryka tak, była, tak? tak? Tym się zajmowali. Tak, tak, tak. Natomiast są tutaj te wszystkie nieruchomości. O, tu jest bardzo ładnie, bo one są tu wyszczególnione zbiorczo. Jest Chrzanów, tak. dwie nieruchomości. Trzebini jedna i w Brzezińce dwie. Z nich jakby nie wynika zupełnie ani jedno słowo, co się dzieje teraz, gdzie te nieruchomości w ogóle są położone. Dlatego trzeba najpierw to po prostu sprawdzić. Być może, że coś tam się działo, może skarb państwa je zabrał, może w ogóle jest burzono. No nie ja wiem. chciałam się zapytać, jak, jak, tak, właśnie jak to jest Brzezienka i według tego, co ja wiem o moj, o moj, od mojego tatusia, bo mam się nie mówiła o tym, że Birkenau, ten, tak, obóz. ten, ta, ten lager, to był budowany tam, dlatego, bo mieli... Na tym terenie? Tak mi powiedzieli. Dziwaj, tam, będzie co, tam, muzeum, tam będzie tam muzeum. Nie wydaje mi się. Nie? Dlatego, że to są dokumenty już powojenne, 46 roku. Tak. Cały teren obozu jest objęty, e, to jest miejsce pamięci, po prostu tam nie ma prywatnych terenów. Także władza w 46 roku by nie zwracała tych gruntów, posiadanie mamy. To po prostu było niemożliwe. Także dlatego mówię, że to jest gdzieś być może koło obozu, na pewno nie jest to bezpośrednio w granicach obozu e, w Oświęcimiu. How did you feel when the lawyer said it wasn't part of the camp? Very ambivalent. It's a, you see, because it was a relief, first of all a relief, and then I think it's what a pity, because they have wasted, my mother has wasted, as it has, she wasted her emotions, her life, by keeping silent about it, but not talking about it, but feeling so guilty about it, when it wasn't on her land. So I really don't know, but I still think it is. We are on the way to the museum of the biggest Nazi concentration camp, Auschwitz-Birkenau. First you will meet your local guide from the museum and you will go to see camp number one, Auschwitz one. 
You will see the whole exhibition and it will take you about one hour and 45 minutes. I know for sure that my grandmother, both my aunts, my niece and my uncle, all of them, my cousin, not my niece, my cousin my, my, and my uncle, all of them died there in Auschwitz because that's what's written in the documents that we found. But this connection that they were burned there, that they were gassed there, that, that they lived there even, and to see the place and to know exactly that they were there, that some of them, my family was gassed there, it's very painful. His blog, the first one to the right, is the death blog. By fleeing to Russia when the Germans invaded, Sipora and her parents survived the Holocaust. Only when they returned to Poland did they discover the extent of what had happened to the Jews. Auschwitz was originally a Polish military barracks. It became a concentration camp in 1940. An extension was built at Birkenau a year later. Over one and a half million people were brought here. Most were killed immediately. Some were worked to death as slave laborers. Few survived. The museum at Auschwitz-Birkenau was established by the Polish state in 1947 on part of the original site. About 600,000 visitors a year come to witness what happened here. museum can teach the children. I was looking at them, they were, they were not so much impressed by, by, the, by the horrid stories, by everything. Just listen. It was like any museum to them. I don't know if we can teach a lesson about it. I really have a feeling that she was right. This new document should be just in the museum. Two miles from the main camp are the ruins of Birkenau. It is here that Sipora believes her grandfather's tar paper factory once stood. I remember my grandfather's factory. I remember coming to visit him. 
I remember sitting on his knees. I remember him hugging me. Uh, I don't remember the factory. I remember buildings. Buildings and a lot of... Uh, an order, in order, nothing was in order, you know, some pieces of equipment put and everything, and a huge yard, I remember. The irony that maybe it was on Jewish land that they built this camp, this concentration camp, the death camp. And on the same land, they were executed on their own land. I really hope it's not mine. It's not. It's not ours. But my parents believed it. It's theirs. So there is some sort of conflict. Conflict inside me. It's very, very strange feeling, you know. That I hope it's not mine. It's too, too atrocious. I hope it's not mine. The next day, the search begins. Sipporah's decided to look for the other properties mentioned in the documents before returning to Auschwitz-Birkenau. The lawyer has sent his assistant, Martin, to accompany her. They begin in Scharnow, 10 miles from Auschwitz. Sipporah lived here before the war. She's looking for the family home and the land surrounding it. First stop is the town hall surveyor's office. Pani, jest z pochodzenia Żydówką. Chciałam się dowiedzieć, ponieważ wie, że po roku, po II wojnie światowej i przed nią, jej rodzice i, 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 i dziadkowie byli właścicielami nieruchomości położonych właśnie tutaj w Szanowie. Pani chciałaby się dowiedzieć, gdzie te nieruchomości się znajdują i ewentualnie w jakim są stanie. Jeśli Państwo nie pozwoli, to ewidencję prowadzimy i nieruchomości w pokoju 58, czy, czy po prostu, no wypadałoby tam przejść, byśmy od razu mieli wgląd do dokumentów, do naszej ewidencji. Naturalnie, bardzo dziękuję. Wielce proszę, ja sobie tylko poproszę. Nie, 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 Nieruchomość. To jest tam. Proszę zwrócić uwagę. Tak, jest to nieruchomość położona przy ulicy Kościuszki. Kościuszki, tak. Tak, Kościuszki 10. Tak, jest zabudowana budynek. Budynek. Tak. Z naszej orientacji to mieści się tam w przedszkole. This property yeah. is uh, in the management, yes. and administration of, uh, uh, of government. Uh, government department uh, department of education. I see. To są stare odpisy z naszych wyjętych rąk. Melcer Józef i tych nieruchomości, ta nieruchomość składała się jeszcze z takich parcel. Mm -hmm. my, my grandfather is written. Yes, you're right. Perhaps it will be possible to yes, find more. More lots. More lots. I'm getting richer by many. A trip to the courthouse will establish who's the registered owner of the plots. Tutaj jest własność Rybka z Mel. Melcero, tak, Jakubowo. No to tu jest naszym ciągu. Jest z mojej mother. Jest Melcero, to jest mojej mother. Mamy sprawdzoną jedną nieruchomość. A to jest właśnie. 2, 8, 4, 7. Ta nieruchomość została przejęta na skarb państwa. It was expropriated by the state treasury. By the state treasury. Skarb państwa. To jest ten wniosek. To jest dokładnie przejęte na skarb państwa na tyle szanowskich zakładów materiałów ognotrwałych stela szanowych. Oh, so, so they just confiscated the land, to, uh, took to over the land factory. to build a factory. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I understand. Mm -hmm. it, so was, yes. it was done like this? It was done like this? It was. It was, okay. The house in Kosciusko Street 
is where Sipora was born and lived before the war. Her grandfather built it in 1929. Sipora was last here as an 11-year-old child when her mother came to reclaim the house. No, because it has verandas here, it has specific verandas, and here there are no verandas, maybe from the other side. Now, is there any chance that I can reclaim it if it's governed, if it's administrated by the government? Yes, because this is only administration. Yes. It wasn't uh, expropriated, for example, by yes. the government. It wasn't confiscated, you mean? It wasn't confiscated. Yeah, I see. Uh, what is in there? What? What's inside? Uh, inside there is a kindergarten, but yes. uh, the owner is your mother. The house still belongs to the family, but the buildings on the adjoining lots were taken by the state. This lot, yes. uh, or lots, uh, were the property of your family, yes. and it was expropriated by the state, and uh, I think these two buildings, yes. there is uh, this factory, or yes. building of uh, administration of this factory, and this house, this building, uh, this is a private property. And this one can't be claimed anymore? It's impossible. But if some, something is confiscated, do they have to pay uh, for this it? This is not the same as confiscation. Uh, expropriation is for a public purpose. In some situations, uh, some terrains, areas, are yes. useful for state or yes. for public and they, they can just take it like this without paying anything uh, this purpose must be public yes but this Everything is housing so yeah. maybe if you go to the court or to some to look mm -hmm. like it's more call, difficult it's but i see but it's still but it's still can possible be okay. sipora is one of only a few hundred survivors or descendants who've tried to make a claim Thousands of Jewish properties remain in the registers unclaimed. People who do manage to claim their buildings back can make money from them, but there are conditions. Residents can't be evicted and their rents are regulated. As landlords, they must pay for the building's upkeep. For many, it's not worth the effort. Yeah. But so far, sipora has been lucky. Your property? Yes. I, I think so, because this map is, is, yes. is very old and bad. Uh, this is the beginning of your property. Property. Yeah. And these garages are on your lot. So it, it begins from here. Your yes. family divided this uh, bigger lot yes. into two yes. to give uh, the opportunity to go there. That the, the, the other second one. one lot. Oh, no, so the other one there is also? I think so. Okay, that's good. Now nice garages. <laughs> so it must be from this fence. I, so. I guess from Yeah, here. up to the other building. And this lot doesn't belong to me. Okay, I don't need the trees. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to court now mm -hmm. with all the papers and mm -hmm. then to claim it. Garages. Garages. So we're on a road and garages. We'll put a gate there and we'll ask them, everybody who goes into the garage, to pay something. And I think that'll be nice. <laughs> we'll because see. it's money, you know, that's real money. It's not like they're getting checks or getting to pay, you know, rent and to have to look after, so after the building and you have to renovate it and everything. This is pure money. How much do you pay for uh, parking here? We don't have parking. It depends pay. on the place. This is a good place because... Yeah, thanks. So how much can I charge them? One lot, two lot for an hour. Hmm? Why not? Okay, let's try it. Sipora is happy with all that she owns so far, but now she must return to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Sipora and Martin have tracked down all the properties, except for the factory at Auschwitz-Birkenau. 
Over these past few days, they've struck up an uneasy friendship. Martin, did you tell your family about it? Yes. What was their reaction about it? What do they think about it? Or the whole the whole properties about me coming Jewish back and, and claiming back the property like the kindergarten, the house in Shannon. Uh, some people in Poland think that uh, it's uh, it's been uh, too many years that it happened uh, 50 years ago. Yes, and but I was not allowed to come until a few years ago. I know, but uh, it would be impossible after 50 years to give back everything what was taken by communist governments because the change w would be so big to uh, change whole country into this the same as it was before the Second World War. Martin, do you yes. think it evokes anti-Semitism? Mm -hmm. Jewish people coming back and trying to claim their property? Hmm. Many people living in houses, uh, Jewish houses, many people um, possessing lands uh, with Jewish names uh, written in registers. Uh, I think they they are afraid of, of Jewish people coming from Israel and other countries. German, Jewish, or Russian. Oh, we met yesterday a mm -hmm. Polish girl that she married somebody from Ireland and they came here with the whole family to claim the property that she has. Mm -hmm. So she's Polish, from Polish origin. Mm -hmm. So the feeling will not be the same as I'm coming to claim it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jewish people everywhere in every country are um, regarded as uh, as rich people who having a lot of money, a lot of real estate, factories. Uh, as uh, one man from Chanov told me, Jewish had everything before the Second World War, and in many cases, this is true. The town hall in Osvietim is where the land registers for Auschwitz and Birkenau are held. This is the most important part of Sipora's search. It's her fear that she'll discover her grandfather's property was part of the concentration camp. Przybywamy w takiej sprawie. Pani przyjechała z Izraela i poszukuje miejsc, które czy też działek nieruchomości, które były własnością jej rodziny. To jest wykazane w starych wyciągach hipotecznych. To jest jedno. To są trzy działki i jeszcze dwie znajdujące się w innym elu. Bardzo przepraszam, ale muszę odejść. Ten fakt cenę użytkował OZNS. Ale w tej chwili operatem pomiarowym są te parcele zniesione do jednej e, czyli, parceli. Czyli były w użytkowaniu OZNS, Oświęcimskich Zakładów Naprawy Samochodów. No i na podstawie operatu wywłaszczeniowego przejęli grunty. So it means that on this land, when there were the buildings and everything, there is now a factory of cars. Nadal tam istnieje, tak, istnieją zakłady? I to znaczy e, istnieją. Ja na w międzyczasie pokażę, jakie to są zakłady, te ozdenesty. To jest obóz oświęcimski jest tutaj. Tutaj. Tak, tak, tutaj jest. Oświęcim. Oświęcim. Tu jest ulica Jaracza, jednostka Brzezina. Oświęcim. Oświęcim Brzezinka jest zupełnie. Tu jest droga do obozu na Brzezinkę. Tu jest Birkena, tu jest Auschwitz. Tak, Auschwitz. Obóz Auschwitz, tak, Auschwitz jest tu. Auschwitz Concentration Camp is a gen... It's, to jest blisko do Auschwitz koncentracyjnych? Tak, tak. Po mhm. prostu przez ulicę tylko. It's just one street between... It's another, uh, another side of the same street. So everything is... Czyli obóz koncentracyjny byłby... Tu, 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 tu jest jednostka tak? wojskowa, tu poniżej. Aha, poniżej. Jest jedna, 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 bo wszystkie materiały są w WG. Hmm? I tutaj jest na mapie klasyfikacyjnej. Okay, tu. This is the same as... It's this one, yeah. Yeah, that's the plot. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. the same. You can see it. Yeah. Oh my God. In these yes. streets. Yeah. yeah. This is it's just just a road between the concentration camp in Auschwitz mm -hmm. and this lot. When they made the museum, they maybe moved it, moved the museum a little bit, but maybe it was on my land. The first, because when she got it in '46 back, she said that it's that was standing 
this land was on her, uh, this land of hers, the camp was built on it. So maybe the museum, they just moved it to make it smaller because the road was going through there. And now there's a factory that they are making or repairing small cars, I don't know. Uh-huh. Here's the railroad. Yes, These are the trucks. So it, the, the well, the trucks are going into it. Mm-hmm. This is where this, this factory is. Only a road separates Sipora's grandfather's land from the present-day Auschwitz Museum. Neither Sipora nor Martin are sure where the original camp boundaries lie. It's huge. And your property is located under this. What do you mean under it? Uh, I mean that building was built on your... Ah, the old building was destroyed and they built another building. Yes, you're right. Ah, and the border was, the other border was the road to the Zika, to Birkenau. Mm-hmm. So now it we can go to the left. Somewhere here. To Niemcy wybudowali, no, ale znaczy nie jest w takim stanie jak, jak teraz, bo... Ale Niemcy zaczęli to budować Niemcy, tak? Niemcy, tak. Jakieś pociski przez to. Ja tego nie pamiętam, ale za młody jest. So the Germans built this factory. He says, he says that the Germans built this factory, this factory and uh, uh, didn't to say... Produce to, to produce ammunition. So... It changes... All the time it changes. Confused by the old man's recollections, Zipporah wants to see what anyone else remembers. It was really a shock when I saw the factory and I saw how close it is to the camp that is now to the museum and uh, I looked at it. It still made me feel... It's, it's, a, bad, it's a bad feeling. I feel... I don't feel good about it. I can understand my mother coming here after the war and when she saw this factory, the barracks were there and the chimneys were there, the ashes were there, and uh, she could see how it was, what happened there. I think it all together affected her so much, the guilt about not saving her parents, her family, about just fleeing, taking me and my brother and just running away fighting for her own existence and her own life. And then coming back and she found that there's nobody left from her family and that everybody died in the camps. So she must have felt terrible, I think. Thousands of Jews returned to Poland after the war. When Sipora and her parents came back to Sharnov, they thought they were coming home. But many Poles didn't want the Jews back, reclaiming their houses and businesses. Hundreds of Jews were murdered, culminating in a massacre of 42 men and women in a town 60 miles from Sharnov in July 1946. Sipora's family decided to flee Poland forever.
we were driven out from here. It's not that we left of our own choice. We had to leave. The survivors, like me, that are coming now, or the second generation that are coming and claiming, most of their families were killed here. But still, the belongings are theirs. This house, I think I claim it. It will have problems. But this is the government administrator. And uh, so government took it over, and the government can give it back or make all sort of arrangement with me. I, I'm not thinking about money. I don't know. I'm just, first of all, thinking about claiming it, putting it in the paper, on paper, black and white, that it's mine. Just like my mother did. She claimed it, and it was hers, so it's mine now. Sipora has been asking passers-by if anyone remembers her grandfather. No one does. A pani, pani są szanowa, prawdziwy szanowa. Prawdzie w sąsiedniej, sąsiedniej miejscowości jest, ale z Panem się łączy od, od czasów gimnazjalnych. To tutaj, tak. I tu było dużo Żydów w ciągu, podczas, przed, przed wojną? Bardzo dużo. 8 tysięcy Żydów hmm. i 4 tysiące katolików. Aha. To było więcej Żydów więcej niż katolików Żydów. dwa razy temu? A, dwa razy, razy tyle. A najgorsze to było to, że opanowali całkowicie handel. Ci Żydzi? Tak. To tylko jeden katolik miał sklep z materiałami. A, A tak to wszystko było opanowane przez Żydów. A w szkole byli też, to byli i Żydzi, tak, tak, i Polacy tak, wszystko tak. razem, prawda? Tak, tak. To myśmy mieli w szkole zawsze to... trzech, czterech Żydków. Do dziś pamiętam, że bardzo trzech A skąd się, stąd, kiedy Niemcy przyszli, co się stało z nimi? Kiedy Niemcy przyszli, to, to, by... o, to od razu się sytuacja tak zmieniła. My nawet, ja nawet chciałem wykorzystać okupację, do jednego Żydka chodziłem na francuski, bo niemiecki już znałem, a chodziłem na francuski. Gdzieś, ja wiem, czy na czwartej, czy na piątej lekcji, wpadł, wziął, zabrał już po profesorze. Taki sympatyczny był ten. Sześć sukcesów. Dziękuję bardzo. Informacja. Dziękuję bardzo. No, bardzo dziękuję. No, ja tu przed wojną nie mieszkałam. To, to nie, 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 to nie to mieszkałam. Nie. Ja mieszkałam daleko. To, to bardzo dziękuję pani. Dziękuję. No, to dziękuję. I can understand the problem that causes people come and claim. Even now when I was talking to this couple and they told me that the Jewish people were so rich and he called the Jews, he didn't say Jews, he said Zitki, it's like it. So it's a nickname for, and it sort of uh, made me feel, uh, well, even from those times or those days, it's still there in, in him and he still resents me for coming back here, you know, and claiming the house. So the resentment will always be here. But I'm going to claim it. Also the garages and the road. The problem is the property in Auschwitz. This is a problem that I have to think about. Sipora and Martin return to the Auschwitz Museum. They need to establish once and for all whether the factory site was actually part of the concentration camp. They've asked one of the museum's historians to look up the property in the archives. Patrząc na to, więc możemy zlokalizować. A chciałam jeszcze Pani zwrócić uwagę, bo być może to, sądzę, że to jest dosyć istotne, że właśnie numer 10 to jest miejsce, w którym prawdopodobnie istniała kiedyś papownia Melcera, zaznaczył, prawda? No więc jeśli porównamy sobie, no więc numer 10, tak. czy liście również mamy, przy kolejnym budynkiem była niewielka fabryka papy na Żyda, tak. Na, na ten ząb. tak, na ten tak, tak. to właśnie, to było, to tak. wspólnik to był który postarał tak, się o wybudowanie drugiej, drugiej bocznicy czyli... kolejowej. Tak, on miał bocznicę, właśnie, bo mieli tam, bo kolej tam przyjechała, tak, tak, o, tak przyjechała tak. tam. Na miejscu tej fabryki, papy, którą Niemcy zburzyli, w 1943 roku przejęty przez 
Weichsel Metal Union Werke. To też były zakłady zbrojeniowe. I Niemcy to, 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 zlokalizowali znaczy, sobie... obozowy to wszystko to tak, było. Tak, to należało, to, to był teren... Tak, nie, tak, to był tutaj... Bo ten muzeum jest teraz tutaj. Tak, a tak, znaczy to my jesteśmy, cały było... my, tak, my, tak. Jesteśmy, my jesteśmy tu. Tak, to był ten przy obozowy, który wchodził również właśnie w skład tak zwanego Interessen Gebiet. Obejmował 40 km kwadratowych. I tutaj również, tam była właśnie zlokalizowana fabryka. Także, ale jest to jedyna wzmianka w dokumentach, które tak, posiadamy że... o tym. Żadnej innej, żadnej innej na, dzień dzisiejszy, na dzień dzisiejszy nie ma. Sorry. To jest pierwszy raz, że, że, to, że wiedzieć to napisane, bo byłam wczoraj w Szanowie i się pytałam ludzi i nikt nie pamiętał. Mi się zdawało, że może mi się zdawało wszystko, że to wszystko nie jest prawda. Moje się rodziny tutaj zmali. To jest to, jest to ironiczne. Nie wiem, ktoś mówi ironia. Ironia z tego, że to na żydowskim. On the Jewish land, they built this. They built it and it belonged to Jewish to Jewish people and all the atrocity and, and then they themselves died here. According to the records, the car plant was built on Sipora's grandfather's land, but during the war it housed a huge German munitions factory within the camp perimeter. The Union factory used over 2,000 prisoners, mostly women, as slave laborers. They produced detonators and grenades for the German war machine. Sipora's worst fears have been realized, and now she has to come to terms with her inheritance. Somehow, I always believed in the back of my mind that it, maybe it's not true. Maybe it was just they were just telling me some sort of story. Maybe maybe they just imagined it. I don't know. I didn't want to believe in it. And even if I talked about it recently and I said that I own a part of it, I still thought maybe it will come out. It's not mine. It will be a relief to me. But now that I know it's true, I can understand why she didn't want to claim it. I can understand why she didn't want to have anything done with this. She didn't want any compensation for it. She didn't want any money from the Germans. My mother didn't want it. But I don't want it. Unlike her mother, Sipora is determined not to hide her Auschwitz legacy. She's decided she wants to claim the other properties. But Auschwitz is a different matter. The truth is, when he, when the first time when we came to his office and he told me that it can't be, that my land is there. I was glad. Because it makes me, it makes me feel terrible owning this land. But if that's the truth, I, I think if you can advise me what to do so it can't be changed and it will be for always like this. Nie można w tej chwili bezpośrednio ja panią ujawnić jako właściciela. Na dzisiaj pani właścicielem tego terenu nie jest. Mamusia nie jest. Oczywiście. Nie. Bo jeżeli jest decyzja o wywłaszczeniu, można spróbować przywrócić w księgach wieczystych pani nazwisko jako spadkobierczyni, matki, jako właścicielki tak, tego terenu. Tak, tak. To można zrobić. Tak, tak. Ale od razu trzeba się zastanowić, co można zrobić z tą fabryką. Bo będąc właścicielem, pani musi w jakiś sposób uregulować stosunki. Czy wynająć ten teren, czy go sprzedać, czy zażądać, żeby ta fabryka z tego terenu poszła, żeby tam w jakiś sposób inny go zagospodarować. 
I can't yeah. take money for this, you see, in, it's, because my mother was so against it. She said it's, it's money for blood and she didn't want to touch it, so I can't. I cannot just tell him I wanted to be acknowledged that it was a Jewish property. It's very important to me. To pani jest bardzo ważna, żeby to było y, ogłoszone, żeby było wiadomo o tym, że to była żydowska własność. Znaczy, to jest wiadome. W jaki sposób to ogłosić, to no, nie no, wiem. Znaczy, wiadome jest, bo są te dokumenty, są te księgi. No, no, in the museum they didn't know about it. It's, it's important for the history, for, for, for my own feeling. Nazwisko pani mamy będzie zawsze wpisane, bo w tych księgach, które pani widziała, to nazwisko pozostanie. To, że mama była właścicielem tego terenu przed wojną, że była właścicielem tego terenu w czasie Oboj. wojny, wtedy kiedy był tam obóz. To, że była po wojnie, że sąd jej zwrócił ten. The most important issue in coming here was to know the truth, to establish the truth. Does this atrocity belong to my family? Am I connected to it? That's what I wanted to know. That was the real. Because the, the other property, I feel, I feel good about it. I feel I should claim it. It's mine. I should claim it. It's, it's, like, it's like a money in the bank. That somebody left me, and I think it's mine, so I should claim it. But I wanted to come to know the truth. The whole trip was about Birkenau Auschwitz. So all the time lurking in my heart, of my mind, of my feelings was this, where is it? What is it, and where is it? I wanted to know the truth. But maybe now I think maybe it would be better if I didn't, because it it affected me so much. It I feel so connected to to it. I feel as if from now on, wherever I wherever I think about Poland, about Auschwitz, about the Holocaust, it's it's Sipora and Auschwitz. I know I know it's not rational. I know it's not rational, but that's the feeling that I have. This camp was built on Jewish land, and on the same land, in the same camp, my whole family was gassed and shot and burned. I don't have to feel guilty, but I, I, I do. I feel an emotional connection to this place, and I know it will be forever. I don't know why, why it was so important to me to establish the real truth. As if my whole life was going around and around it, and now that I know the truth, I myself again. Thank you.